and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Still, 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 I was trapping, tapping in, teeny, trapping the number. We back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing, back in this thing. Like, cook, crack in this thing, man. Like, comment, subscribe for more. That's good. Constiano, we got going on here in TNN, Trap News Network. TNN, Trap News Network. Get into that. If you ain't got into that, man. My newest single, Your Love Ain't For Me. Out now. Out now. Out now. Get into that. If you ain't got into that. Get into that. If you ain't got into that. Get into that, man. Get into that. Plus, $500 is what we're giving away when we get to 50,000 subscribers all over your girl's face. She gonna love it. Don't worry about it. Ha! Like, comment, subscribe. 500 subscribers. Bow! Yep, face to face with the lights on. Look up and open your mouth when I do it. Yeah, all that. All that. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. Say, ah. Open wide. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Huh. Stop playing with your boy. Anyway, come on. Look. Rich Trapper Mafia. Y'all know I got him. God. That's not that's not the same one from earlier today. Beat the voice, they different, don't you? And that's not the same one that was rubbing my back. It's a different one. You feel? That's between us. Y'all the homies, you feel me? So y'all know, keep it real with the homies. Why the hoes? But we keep it real with the homies, you feel me? Between us. Either way it go, man. Get into these signature honey cigars. Shout out to CI Sweet, Smooth Honey, and Aromatic Flavor, Tasty Light, Resin, Disposable Cartridges. Get into that if you ain't got into that. If you want 500 between the top comment or the top, the best comment, let me know. Or you want to split in half, let me know. However you want to see it, big dog, well, let me know, man, because I'm going to give away this chili on it. How y'all want the chili on it giving away? Yeah, dig? Uh, can you dig, my nigga? Shout out to Say So, that back. We finna jump into this content on it, man. We got Adam22 laughing at the death of Tukey Williams. How do we get here? We finna jump into this Contiana without no further ado's or don'ts. Three, two, one, let's get to it. What it do, YouTube? What it do? So Adam22 and Brick Baby got to talking about Muscle Beach and how there's a lot of bodybuilders over there. They even got a gym in the middle of that beach. A lot of famous celebrities used to work out over there and one of those guys just so happened to be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Brick Baby said Arnold is banned from that beach for what he did to Tookie Williams. He said Arnold and Tookie both used to be friends. You would catch them a lot working out together at Muscle Beach. Arnold had a chance to save Tookie's life but decided not to. Brick Baby was explaining how his own country For those was a don't know, uh Tookie Williams was sent to death row and could have been exonerated by Arnold Schwarzenegger, I believe in 2007. What year was Tookie Williams put to death? Stanley 2005, excuse me. I was going to say 2004, but it was 2005. Um, Stanley took it was put to death in 2005 in the state of California and was approved by Arnold Schwarzenegger, who was at that then time governor. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger could have been like, no, let him live. He could have finished out his life with a life sentence, and that was that. He didn't have to uh, die, but Arnold Schwarzenegger deemed it you know, necessary for that man to no longer be able to be amongst us. Um, crazy amount of power for the Terminator to have. No pun intended, but... Either way it goes. That's the, uh, the story of Tookie Williams. So God bless the dead. I'm a Arnold Schwarzenegger. You know for not sparing Tookie's life. They took his name down from the stadium and everything. As Brick Baby was describing a life of Tookie Williams, Adam22 decided to ask Brick Baby if he knew what Tookie Williams was doing today. Brick Baby said Tookie Williams is dead. The Let me find out, Arnold. Yeah, yeah, Jesus you, God. you know what Tookie yeah, Williams is doing? Tookie Williams is dead. Then Adam22 starts cracking up like it was a funny ass joke or something. <laughs> <laughs> you walked into that one too. Because right, he, yeah, nah. he told us. He pretends like he didn't know Tookie Williams was dead. Yeah, so I, I yeah. briefly forgot that he was dead there. Sorry. Yeah. But now this case was all over the news when it happened. No jumpers. Now, it was all over the news in California, but I don't think Arnold, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't think Adam22, who was like probably in New Hampshire at the time, knew anything about it. So I'm not going to say anything about Adam22 not knowing that Tookie Williams. Williams, it's on that side. Um, not knowing that Tookie Williams was no longer with us because he was not embedded in LA culture in 2005, 2005. I'm sure he was in New Hampshire. 
uh, you know, jumping off BMX bikes and all that kind of stuff. So you can't really fault him for being ignorant to the fact. You feel me? So I'm not going to blame. We blame Adam22 for a lot of things, but we're not going to blame him for that specifically. Not, not that one. Media channel. So trust me, they knew all about it. Now, that's the one thing I don't like about Adam22. Whenever he makes fun of a gang or a gang member, he pretends like he's clueless about the whole thing. Him and Flacco be the two main guys that constantly do this. You see, both of them would diss a gang and then pretend like they didn't know that's how you diss them. Adam knew damn well that Tookie Williams was dead. If he really didn't know about it, then why would he die from laughter after Brick Baby said that he was dead? Now there's nothing funny about the death of another man. Adam knew he messed up so he immediately apologized to the Crips afterwards. Next for apologies <laughs> to the Crips. Next for apologies <laughs> to the Crips. Right after that conversation, Adam said that him and Lad TV, you know has been talking behind the scenes for a while now. Lad I told Adam that the only interview that he regrets not doing is the Tookie Williams interview. Lad told Adam that he been chasing Tookie Williams for an interview for many years now. He even offered him money and everything to do it. But each and every single time, Tookie denied him of that interview. So now here's my question. Why did Adam pretend a minute ago that he didn't know who Tookie Williams was? Ah, I tried to give him some grace, but it ain't no grace to be given, man. Ah, you got me two games for youtube i tried to give him some grace but ain't no grace to be given him and lad had a whole conversation and for those y'all who want to know oh well, why brick baby didn't say nothing uh where tookie williams was from is not necessarily where uh brick baby is from um you know it's not necessarily it, he's a crip big homie but he's not brick baby's so to speak big homie you feel me so you know uh you know just you know, kind of leave that right there but you know whatever about Tookie behind the scenes. So he been knew Tookie was dead, but wanted a reason to laugh at him dying in front of the world. This is what Adam really thinks about the gang culture. R.I.P. Tookie Williams. But you guys, let me know what you guys think. Like and subscribe to my channel. Peace. I am out. So yeah, so for those y'all who want to know, I just kind of put up some quick little information. Tookie Williams was born. Uh, 1953 um deceased 2005 uh best known as a co-founder of the cribs the largest street gang within the los angeles united states area um stanley tookie williams lived a life of crime violence born december 29th 2000 2000 i'm sorry two, december 29th 1953 and that's harper's birthday is it or the 30th it's the 30th it's the 30th that's not my son's birthday it's the 30th it's the 30th knowing kids birthdays i got four bro it's hard i've been making kids since i was 12 if you know my story, you know my story. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I got a 22-year-old and I'm 34. I've been outside a long time. So what? I don't know all their birthdays. I show up and I give, uh, huh? You said something nasty. She acting like she want me to bust in her mouth. She ain't acting. You nasty. You're disgusting. I love it. You're disgusting. Anyway, um, I digress. Um, Williams' mother, Lou, from Los Angeles, California. Born at home. Williams wanted the streets. Fighting, made a name for himself, did not attend school, instead engaged in petty theft. Rob, they're making this man seem like all bad. I'm going to just let y'all look at him because I don't want to continue to read this because it's making it seem like he's just like a monster. And I'm sure there was something positive about this man. So I'm sure there's not just all negativity. You feel me? Uh, you want to see the movie Redemption. Jamie Foxx played Tookie Williams. So that was a thing. Shout out to Jamie Foxx who played Tookie Williams. Um, early life, Crip founder, Sonny Tookie Williams, born 29th in New Orleans. He's from New Orleans. His mother was 17 when she had him. Uh, left Williams alone with his father and abandoned the family in 1959. Damn, bro, mom left him. Um, no, his father left him. Yeah, his father left him. Damn, shout out to bro for that. He, he made it through that. Um, his mother left New Orleans in 1959, went to Los Angeles by a Greyhound bus, trying to achieve a better life. Williams reached the affluent South Central neighborhood where they had their first, um, first apartment, uh, finding street number in the home, blah, blah, blah. They had the age six, blah, blah. blah. All right, y'all should actually go look up Tookie Williams. Williams, uh, rarely attended school, believing that he was destined to be... Is that, you mind rolling a blunt, please? Um, if it's no, it's some, it's some blunts in the car if, if I didn't have none. Uh, boom, you a real nigga. You a real nigga. Uh, let me see. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, Williams rarely attended school, destined to be diseducated, a term coined describing impaired 
uh, disease knowledge receiving in school, streets, blah, blah, instead he was convinced he could do better in the streets. He earned a reputation with his fist through fighting, made several of the friends who he frequents, stole with, made quick money with as a boot black. One of his new friends was Raymond, Raymond Washington's. He met in uh, 1969. The two boys formed an alliance known as the Cribs. Group initially protected the neighborhood, larger gangs, which bam. Uh, we're going to fast forward. Gang violence the same year. Uh, Williams and three fellow gang members under the influence of PC plate, basically smoking wet, sharp sticks, drove to a convenience store with the intention of robbing a clerk, according to the 26-year-old clerk, blah, 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 walked into the back room. Williams and other members took money from the register, then a shootout with a security. A shootout. Then the, then the shootout, the security one. Then a shootout with the security monitor? I think that's a miss, a miss type, a miss uh, a typo. They had a sh they shot out the security monitor. You can't have a shootout with the security monitor. So I'm assuming they're trying to say you shot out the security monitor. The group made $120 from the transaction. Williams denied killing Owens. March 11, 19, 90, 1979. Prosecutors say he broke into the office of a Brookhaven motel in Los Angeles. Once inside, allegedly one alive, three uh, members of a Taiwanese family who owned the operator. Goodness gracious. Um, so he goes into prison, gets rehabilitation in 18, 1981. He was tried and convicted in Los Angeles Superior Court of all four murders. Two counts of robbery was sentenced to death. Uh, 420 of that year, April 20 of that year, he was sent to San Quentin to sit on death row. He did not just wear a prison life, but mid 1980s, he was given a six and a half stay. He did six and a half years in solitary confinement, almost off the boot. Uh, anti violence work. By 2020, he had been writing a series of children's books aimed at anti-gang uh, politics, anti-gang rhetoric. In 2020, 2002, Mario Fierre, a member of the Swiss Parliament, nominated Williams for the, two, uh, the Nobel Peace Prize. He was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. I remember that. In recognition for his work against gang violence, he also did not win the award. And many supporters spoke out in his favor of the former gang member's transformation to social reform. He would be nominated for the six... Uh, he would be nominated for the honor... Oh, my bad. He would be nominated for the honor a total of six times. Same year, Williams appealed against the committee's death sentence. The appeal urged the judge to consider community women's death blah, blah. Y'all should go look up on this man. He is an interesting story. Interesting story. What I do know is the specific fraternity that Break Baby's a part of, Tukey Williams was not a part of. So we will kind of leave that right there. If you know, you know. If you don't, you know. So for those of y'all going to say, like, why Break Baby didn't defend him? It's not Break Baby's job to defend all Crips because every Crip ain't your cousin and all real Crips know that. So... With that being said, we finna get about it to the next one. Hit that subscribe button, become part of the Trapper Mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. It all takes happening for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN, Trap News Network. You already know the deal, you 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 know the deal. Uh, red dot slide to the left, become part of the Trapper Mafia. It's free, Avenue Angel, till he's free. We go.